Today, the President issued a new executive order authorizing the United States to impose sanctions on individuals and entities who threaten the peace, security, and stability of Libya. This executive order allows the United States to take action against those who seek to obstruct, undermine, delay, or impede the political transition to the Libyan government of national accord, as well as those who threaten the peace, security, or stability of Libya through the supply of arms or related material. The President took this action in support of Libya's government of national accord, and the United States stands with, as we've said before, Prime Minister al-Sharaj's government as it begins their important work in, Tri in Tripoli and continues to implement the Libyan political agreement to build a better future for the Libyan people. Following today's authorization, the Department of Treasury designated Khalifa Gawail for being responsible for and complicit in certain activities outlined in this executive order. We're going to continue to consider other actions as appropriate under this executive order. We encourage all Libyans to continue facilitating a peaceful handover of power so that Libya's new leaders can begin the hard work of restoring stability to the country.